part of what will go forth in history as a landmark event in the centuries-old tradition of the Arabian horse. Granted, we have gathered here to support a farm program of long standing. But many of us here at this moment remember the past three decades. We have lived it. We have seen it. We have shared in it because of two very special people, Doug and Margaret Marshall. Those two gentle souls have given their time, their heartfelt caring, and the best years of their lives to the Egyptian Arabian horse like no others. Surely no one in this tent could fail to understand the significance of the Marshall's contribution to the horse of the desert. Although legacy marks a step forward into the wave of the future in Egyptian breeding, we felt we should not proceed without some remembrance of the foundation which was laid for that future. Doug, Margaret, this is our tribute to you. If we could thank you for the dream that brings us here, though it might seem so little for the gift you gave, you gave us a A stallion from across the sea, a line that flows through history. Today, tomorrow, always to be, you gave us a Glenlock Farm set out to make history 
when they gathered together 12 straight Egyptian mares of exquisite type and beauty, and through whose veins coursed the blood of legends, Nazir, Sid Abu Ham, Balance, Hamdan, Ibn Rabdan, Antar, Sama, and El Suri. A crowd of 800 people attended the legacy sale, many standing to bid. Lot number one, consigned by Glenlock Farms, the Morophic daughter, Bent Bent Hanna. This classic mare was 1975 United States Reserve National Champion mare. Having produced seven foals in eight years, Bent Bent Hanna sold bread to Al Matravi and with a 1985 breeding to Nabil. Virginia and Bob Cathari of Beaver, Pennsylvania, purchased Bent Ben Hanna for $350,000. Terra, lot number three, was also consigned by Doug and Margaret Marshall's Glenlock Farms. This bay filly is by Sufian, son of Ala El Den, and out of the immortal Monette El Nafus. Terra, who sold with a 1985 breeding to champion Ruminaja Ali, took several junior championships, as well as Texas Futurity champion Philly in her first year of competition. Gerald McCracken purchased this two-year-old Philly for $240,000. By L. Hillall, out of the Morophic daughter Nefertiti, lot number four, Kachina Moon, was consigned by Dr. and Mrs. Felino Cruz of Rancho Bulaquino in Templeton, California and by Mr. and Mrs. John Hurd of Golconda Arabians in Mount Vernon, Washington. This young gray mare traces in all lines to the illustrious Nazir. From a family of champions, Kachina Moon sold bread to the sire of numerous champions, Nabil. $230,000 was the price for Kachina Moon by Seven Fields Arabians of Mars, Pennsylvania. Another mare tracing to Nazir in all lines, lot number five, Imperial Alamali. Count Federico Zishi Tyson of Minya, Arkansas, and Asuncion, Paraguay, consigned this great daughter of them all. The granddam of Imperial Alamali, Nagita, is still a producing mare at Al Badia Stud in Egypt. Larry and Sandra Johnson of Keene, Pennsylvania, purchased Imperial Alamali for $125,000. Bob and Virginia Cathari consigned the only Ala Eldin daughter ever to be offered at public auction. Bent Ala Eldin, with her promising gray colt at her side, sold as lot number six. A producer of exceptional foals, Bent Ala Eldin shares ancestry with the head sire at Tursk, Aswan, a full brother to her granddam, Sherazada. This mare, with the blood of antiquity, sold with her colt and in foal to Sheikh Albadi to Pat and Carol Foy of White Birch Farm in Beaver, Pennsylvania, for the sale high of $410,000. Lot number seven, Namora, is by the national champion Futurity Stallion and Legion of Merit earner Ibn Morothic, and out of the Antar daughter, Nahal. Nahal, 1971 U.S. National Western Pleasure Champion, English Top Ten, and winner of numerous halter classes, has proven performance ability as has Ibn Morothic. Consigned by Glenlock Farms, Namura in full to soccer, a sire with five national championships to his credit, went to Gus McFadden for $300,000. Mr. and Mrs. William Manti of Diamond M. Arabians in Saskatchewan, Canada, consigned Lot 8, Egyptian Bell. Shamrock, with championships in both halter and performance classes, is the sire of Egyptian Bell. On her way to the sale, Egyptian Bell stopped off in South Dakota to become Grand Champion Mayor. This beautiful bay mare is in full to the Morophic son Saeed, a full brother to Bent Ben Hanna. Jerry Roston of Orange Springs, Florida, purchased Egyptian Bell for $330,000. The Sama son Ibn Hafisa is the sire of lot number 10, Doc Al Rakesa. Consigned by Mr. and Mrs. Bill Larson of El Dorado Arabians in Fort Smith, Arkansas, Dark Al Rakesa is out of Baraka, a mare with proven athletic ability and intelligence, as exemplified in her success as a dancing mare in Egypt. David and Ann Calvin of Greeley, Colorado, purchased Dark Al Rakesa in full to the Zagul son Zambuli for $200,000. David and Ann Calvin also purchased Lot 11, Rababa, consigned by Glenlock Farms. This three-year-old mare is by the newly imported stallion, Zagul. 
Rababa has two crosses to Morothic, including her dam, the prize mare Bent Bent Rafika. Rababa, in full to Amal, brought $270,000. Dr. and Mrs. Coles of Stonebridge Farms in Ontario, Canada, can sign the stunning black filly Dariba. By Dalul, Dariba inherits her black coloring from her dam side through her grandsire, Garib standing at Marbach Stud in Germany. Dariba, showing much promise to show and breed, went to G.W. Lowry of Graymore Agricultural Corporation of Ontario, Canada for $200,000. Hania, imported by the consigners Mr. and Mrs. Les St. Clair of St. Clair Arabian Stud in Reddick, Florida, is by the Morothic son, Kaid, head sire at Al Badia Stud in Egypt until his death last year. Hania is out of the Antar daughter fairy all and traces to the celebrated stallion balance through her great granddam Zafirana. Bob and Virginia Kathari purchased Hania for $235,000. Mr. and Mrs. Gerald McCracken and Lisa McCracken Lacey of Bentwood Farms in Waco, Texas consigned this dazzling filly, lot number 15, A.K. Narifa. This yearling filly is by Monette El Sharaf the son of Scottsdale champion stallion Ibn Monyet El Nafus, and out of Masria by Sultan, sire of three national champions. A.K. Narifa brought $285,000, a record price for a yearling filly, from Stewart and Erica Montgomery of Deep Meadow Farm in Waynesboro, Virginia. In addition to the 12 straight Egyptian mares offered, one breeding was offered to the 1972 U.S. National Futurity Champion Stallion, Sheikh Albadi, sire of the 1979 Futurity Champion and U.S. Reserve National Champion Stallion, Ruminaja Ali. Douglas Marshall purchased the breeding for $55,000, with the proceeds going to the Arabian Horse Trust in Denver, Colorado. Glenlock Farms set out to make history with the legacy sale, and make history they did. The sale set an industry record of $3,175,000, well over a million dollars above the previous record set. A new sale average per mare of $264,583 is up more than 24% over the previous mark set by Egyptian breeders. The legacy sale provided the opportunity for this priceless desert breed to touch and grace the lives of Egyptian Arabian enthusiasts and to allow the legacy to continue. You can...